Good morning and happy Wednesday, you guys. Um, we had an amazing time yesterday at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party at the Magic Kingdom. I am going to edit that video right now. It has about 75 minutes worth of footage. As far as my um, editing like time frame, it generally takes me an hour to edit every 10 minutes especially if there's music involved. And there was a lot of music in that vlog because of the parade, the fireworks show, the Hocus Pocus spelltacular, just all of it was music based. So I'm gonna go edit that video now. I hopefully will be done in less than six hours. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. Uh, I, I'm, if I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess it's gonna take me about five hours, five to six hours. Yeah, so while I'm editing, I am actually going to put in some of the footage from yesterday. I did like a daytime vlog, but then it was just like it didn't really make sense. It was kind of like bits and pieces here and there. So I didn't leave it in the not so scary vlog because I wanted that to all be Disney stuff. So I'm gonna put that in now and you guys can check that out while I'm editing because I have a feeling I'm not gonna have a lot of time to film a lot for you guys this afternoon before Tim gets home. So basically the footage is just me kind of like making my costume, some morning stuff, you know, like all the, all the things we normally do. But there's a little bit of Halloween costume kind of thrown in there too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in right now. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Today is awesome because today we are going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. I know a lot of you guys were wondering when we were gonna go and we're going tonight and I'm so excited. It was kind of like a last minute decision and we were just like okay let's do it before it sells out and it sold out so I'm glad we got our tickets when we did. It's gonna be busy tonight, but it's gonna be fun. I'm excited, I'm really excited. So because we're going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party today, I've gotta to do some just last minute things on my costume. So I'm gonna do it today and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of it. All right, so first things first, I have to cut this sheet up. We have a white sheet I actually used this a few years back to dress as a ghost when we went on a ghost tour of Kissimmee. I don't know if you guys remember that video. It was pretty silly. Uh, we were just kind of having some fun, so um, this was my ghost costume. You want to see it? I'll show you. Here it is! This was my ghost costume. So now, since I've ruined this sheet by cutting these holes in it, I have to now cut two more holes in the bottom of it, so I'm glad that we have this. Um, for my costume for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party! Yay! So check it out, you guys. Real live ghosts caught on camera. Ooh. By the way, this is probably the easiest Halloween costume if you're like really not wanting to, oh, my headband came off. If you're really not wanting to like spend a lot of time or money and you just wanna like throw something together for a Halloween costume, that's a pretty easy one to do. You just need a white sheet, cut two eye holes in it, and bam, you're a real live ghost. So, I don't know, there's an idea for you. So I'm making my costume here on the, um, like the top of the dishwasher, but I'm sure you can probably guess what I'm doing now. So I've got some red shorts and I'm trying to cut out sort of like a button type shape for my shorts out of the sheet. And I'm probably gonna have to double it up because I didn't realize that you can kind of see through this. Um, we'll see, we'll see. And then basically I don't have any glue or any type of like fabric glue or anything. So I'm gonna have to use some needles. I don't even have any safety pins. Like I, I was not ready for this costume. So I'm gonna use, I have some small needles and then I also have some tape. I don't know, we'll see which one works better, but this is definitely not exactly how I had planned for it to turn out, but we'll see. Might be, it might still be okay. All right, here's a better look at it. So now who am I? You guys know, I know you know. Leave a comment down below if you can guess who I'm going as for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Also, this should kind of give you a hint as to what Tim is going to be as well. All right, here is the final <laughs> look of the shorts. I know they look kind of funky because you can see where I taped them because I was gonna glue them, but my glue is totally dried out. It's just like a purple stick of hard non glueiness so that didn't really help. Then I thought, okay, maybe I'll do the needles just to like make sure they stay in place, but these needles are very sharp and they're very close to my pants <laughs> like and it's probably not a good idea to put them like here and have sharp things sticking into me so i didn't go with the needles and then i tried the tape and hopefully the tape sticks i know i don't know if it's gonna work you guys but we'll see i'll let you guys know in the not so scary vlog how my buttons stay on my pants i believe it'll work i hope 
I am taking an editing break. I've been editing for a very, 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 very long time. Uh, yeah, so I, Tim is actually going to be home pretty soon. I have a few more minutes left to edit and just I need to rewatch it one more time before I put it up just in case I left in like an extra clip or anything like that. Sometimes I'll do that on these longer videos. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to rewatch the video and put that up and hopefully get that up for you guys soon uh, I don't know but um Tim will be home shortly so the next clip you'll see will most likely be him but as for me hi ho hi ho it's back to work I go I've never been good at whistling though so my bad <laughs> happy Wednesday happy Wednesday everybody or as I like to call it the day that we have been singing boo to you all day long because that song gets stuck in your head after you go to Mickey's Not So Scary because... It's not so very scary. It's no. It's really not so scary. <laughs> not, I don't even know the words. And I know that in your head you guys did that. You guys made that noise when I went like this. Boo to you, you and you. Ooh. Oh, I hit myself in the face. Oh no, I'm glad I didn't hit you in the face. <laughs> no. That's like most often the way that it is. I have such crazy like hand movements. Not I'm like, this time, but every other time he hits me in the face. Not on purpose. Not, not on purpose, not, no. like, not like this, no, just no. kind of like he's a hand. Like, yeah. I just hit her in the elbow just then. <laughs> also, happy Back to the Future Day, everybody. Today is the day that in Back to the Future 2, they travel forward in time to October 21st, 2015 at 429, which is past now, to like change the future. What happened? Biff took uh, a, a thing from from Marty. It was the almanac. Uh, you guys have seen the movie, but uh, nothing happened today. <laughs> there were a few things that happened. Pepsi came out with a specialty bottle called Pepsi Perfect, and they sold 6,000 of them. People have lost their minds because nobody could get them because they only made 6,000 of them and everybody wanted them. Um, we don't have hoverboards yet. We're working on self-driving cars. We don't have flying cars. What was it? Nike came out with self-lacing shoes, which I'm really kind of disappointed in because we have the technology to do much better than that. And uh, they're loud. They're like really loud. It sounds like an RC car on your foot. So, I, I don't know. I'm just a little bit disappointed in Nike. Like, it's neat that we have self-lacing shoes, but they don't come out until spring. They didn't come out today. They just, like, put out a prototype today. They patented the technology for self-lacing shoes in 2013. And uh, it's 2015 now. So, I don't know what they've been doing, but I feel like I could make self-lacing shoes. Like, in my spare time. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. <laughs> Um, there was one more thing. Oh, a lot of people were asking if we were going to be at Universal today for Back to the Future Day. We didn't go today because I had to work all day and the park closes at 5 because it's Horror Nights night. So I would have gotten there right at park closing. I might have made it at 429, but they didn't actually do anything. They just had a couple of extra meet and greets with Doc Brown. They drove the DeLorean out, which they've had a working DeLorean for a little bit now that they can drive around. And they drove it out onto uh, the streets of Universal Orlando and they had a bunch of set up times for Doc Brown meet and greets. And then there was a band right there as soon as you walk in that was playing all the songs from Back to the Future, like gotta go back in time from Huey Lewis and the news. And that's it. And then everybody that was at the park, not everybody, but a lot of people that were at the park were crowded around the DeLorean and the train at 429 and nothing happened. Universal social media came out and they did like a contest with everybody where they asked them to share their favorite Doc Brown Universal moments and they gave away something. I don't know what they gave away, but they didn't do anything like big and special or anything crazy in the park. So that's what happened at Universal today. Here's our dinner for tonight. It's steak and potatoes. This is like a, a pinwheel type Florentine thing that they make at Publix and you just pop it in the oven and then you eat it and it looks delicious. It's like flank steak and spinach and mozzarella cheese and heck yeah. And then Jen like cut up some potatoes and baked them up and then we've got just regular old vegetables. And in honor of Back to the Future Day, the day that they went to the future in Back to the Future 2 is today. So we're gonna watch Back to the Future 2. Rose. <laughs> Look at how bad it looks. Yeah. Thank you. 
So now we have mixed our candy together from both uh, Not So Scary and Spooktacular, but I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that we got from Not So Scary. We got these craisins that are covered in Greek yogurt. Well, you gotta get down to, yeah, the, you gotta get to, down the, to the good the, candy. To the meat of it. So, so look at this, you guys. Dark chocolate Kit Kats. These are so good. I've never had these before. They're delicious. And then we get Whoppers. I don't like those. We got Airheads. We got a lot of these uh, peanut chews. We got Reese's. Like, they've got Reese's. Yeah, M&M's. Look at these, like, Dove. Oh, those are so good. Yeah. Like Dark they chocolate Dove. Really, really good. But we found out the reason why, because I know we were kind of complaining about the candy from the other Halloween event that we went to, the Spooktacular. The reason why the candy wasn't so good there was because they were using candies without palm oil. Because palm oil... Because when, when companies farm palm oil, they have to get it out of rainforest, yeah, and they, so they end up like chopping down the whole rainforest. They like bulldoze the rainforest, probably not just for palm oil, for other things as well, but it's a contributing thing to like the depletion of the rainforest. So I think it's pretty cool that Spooktacular didn't have awesome candy, but I am excited for the good candy from Disney. So it's like a conflicting type thing. Right. The candy from Disney is so good. Like when you're trick or treating, and you get a full-size candy bar at like the rich people houses, that's what like the Disney candy is like. Yeah, it's good, it's so, good candy. Yeah. Who had that neighborhood though when you guys were kids trick-or-treating? Did you guys have like the neighborhood that you went into to get full-size candy bars? I remember when I was a kid, I went into, we actually had to lie to get into this gated neighborhood. We said that we were meeting somebody that lived there and we used like a, just a like Smith or oh. like, like yeah, oh yeah. And then we got full-size candy bars all night. So, you know what I didn't like? There was a person in a neighborhood, um, the street that I lived on as a kid only had like 10 houses on it. So we never trick-or-treated on my street because there, there weren't very many houses. But we went to this one house that was like in the neighborhood, like down the street from our neighborhood and somebody gave out like bags of grapes. That sounds like I would need those. Yeah, I don't think, well, this was back in like, the 80s probably like early 90s late 80s so i don't know if we ate them or not we maybe we did eat them back then you ate all kinds of stuff from people you didn't know but i don't know like rocks <laughs> but a bag of grapes like a ziploc bag of grapes so not like the bag that you get from the grocery store they like no individualized yeah. out the grapes yeah it was like oh. in, in not even a ziploc it was like you one know, of those like sandwich top? bags oh, yeah geez. I don't, yeah, so what's, so dangerous. <laughs> what's the weirdest like candy that you guys ever got or non-candy? I've gotten like toothbrushes before. Somebody gave us books one year, which is kind of cool, but I it's not, pennies. <laughs> it's not cool when you're like, when you're a kid and you think you're going to get candy and then they're like, here's a book. Yeah. I like, is it a book that teaches me where to get the candy? <laughs> is it like a map to candy? <laughs> I meant to tell you guys, I put the candy in this pot because I thought it looked like a witch's cauldron, and I was like, oh, this is like a free Halloween decoration. It kind of is. Right? Like, I feel like this wasn't free. Like, we probably bought a pot. No, your, your parents gave us Ah, these. free, free Halloween decorations. They're really free. Like, free secondhand Halloween decorations. You guys probably have some in your cupboard. Right? What are your guys' favorite candy to get yeah. for Halloween? What's the one that you're like, I'll trade you for all of your Butterfingers or whatever your, you know what I mean? Is it Crazen Greek Yogurt? Because I don't think that's anybody's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My favorite is probably Kit Kat. But we had even dark chocolate Kit Kats. I ate one of those. Yeah, these are so good. We watched Back to the Future 2. It was heavy. It was good. Uh, we ate a lot of candy. It was heavy. It was good. And then I fell asleep on the couch. Because that's what you do after you eat a lot of candy. And then you stay up all the hours of the night the night before going to Mickey's Not So Scary. Yay. I did want to tell you guys really quick. I know as of right now, the, hopefully the video is up for you guys oh. right now. Oh, I just got really lightheaded. Oh no. I had too much candy. <laughs> um, sorry. Um, the video, hopefully you've seen the video because this video is tomorrow. Almost 10 o'clock at night. I have been uploading the video for like four, almost four hours. Yeah. I'm really sorry, you guys. I don't know. Um, like... I don't know what time it went up. Hopefully it went up at a reasonable time, but. I mean, 10 o'clock is not really a reasonable time anyway. So. No, I know, and I'm sorry. I, w I wish I could figure out like why certain videos get stuck in processing. I think it's the longer videos. I think it's the music. Oh. Like if there's a lot of music in a video, it takes longer to upload or longer oh, to process. Oh, okay. It has to go through the processing engine, which is it searching for copyrighted music. 
That makes sense because there's a lot of music in this video. Yeah, so it probably takes longer like that. Okay, well, Tim's smart and he knows all the answers. I should have just asked you. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Tim knows everything. Uh, <laughs> oh, you just burped in my face. I burped in your hair. <laughs> well, on that note. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price. I'm a mouse, duh. <laughs> Did you guys get that joke, by the way? It was from Mean Girls. I hope you guys got it.